Alright folks, welcome back. I only have one word for you, and that's Iberico Ribs. Well, that's two. Anyhow, I'm a real big fan of pork and ribs, of course, and Iberico Ribs, that's just gonna be glorious. But first, we need to go get some. So, come along. Alright, got two of them right here, uh, thawing as we speak, so in a short while, while they're thawed, I'm gonna prep them and apply the rub and we're gonna smoke them. Oh man, I, I've been waiting to cook these for a long time, finally I found a good source, so, so this is gonna be epic. Alright, so it's time to dress these up a little bit. Get the package off, I'm gonna trim them a bit and see what they look like. Number two, looking good. Now the trimming is done as usual. I try to get this silvery membrane off. Grab a small knife, poke a little hole here, or actually lift it up a bit. I usually follow along the bones here. It really helps. And you don't need a sharp knife. It's actually good to not have a sharp knife. And that was easy. Next one, flip it around. Now, oh, as for the trimming, I'm just going to cut off these really thin ends. But except for that, it's not much trimming to be done. That looks good. That one too. Let's see if we can get the second one. All right. I think that's good. And a little bit of rub. All this fat's gonna taste really, really good when cooking it. I love that rendered pork fat, so really look forward to how these are gonna taste. See if there's any difference. I guess more full flavor than regular ribs, but we'll see when they're cooked. So the rub's ready to be applied. I'm using my own brand, Hank's KC Royale. I think it's really good. I don't think it's gonna disappoint on the Iberico ribs either, so I'm just gonna lay on a thick layer I don't use a binder again because the meat is moist and cold, so the rub is going to stick pretty well anyway. They're looking good. Now into the fridge for a while, while we are firing up the smoker. All right, here's the smoker. Just have to prep it a little bit, get the smoke stack up. Should be good, a little oversized, but I really like it. Top quality smoke flavor on this one. So let's get it fired up. All right, 
right, so the chimney's up. Chopped up plenty of oak wood. There's a ton here. I think I could cook hundreds of ribs on this one. But better safe than sorry, so it's time to get that fire going. I just start my fire with kindling and thinner splits like that. Throw a match in and fire is going. Real quick, real easy. Don't need any extra lighter cubes or anything. All right, we have a nice fire going. Temp is getting up. 133, hard to see in the sun. But yeah, it's time to put those ribs on. So this is my workstation for the next few hours, tending to the fire. What I tend to do is, is I put the logs in here to preheat them. If it's cold outside, I'll start stacking them up here, then move them in to the inside and then put them, add them to the fire, which I think really helps maintain a steady temp. I have another one here, so I keep shifting splits out, or in actually. So this is the nice part about barbecue. This to me is mindfulness. So. We'll check back in on the ribs in two hours exactly and see where they're at, how the bark is forming and what the status is. So, see you then. Two hours in. Oh, those are looking good. Still more time to go. You can see the bark is not ready yet, but really nice. This is going to be tasty. So, three hours in. Really nice looking pork. I'm gonna, I've tested them with the bend test, they're done, so I'm gonna take them out and slice them. These went a little quicker than usual, but that's because they're basically smaller than ordinary ribs. Now these are looking good, aren't they? Really nice. Great color, you can see all the fat rendered out. They're shiny almost, this is gonna be a good taste test. See what they look like, tender enough, that's for sure. Oh, they look really good. Ooh, tricky one. That looks good, real nice. Mm, good flavor. Real nice. So basically what you need is some good oak smoke, nice rub and a few hours in the smoker. And that's it. Mmm, lovely, really rich flavor. Excellent. Now that was fun and tasty, so should you try Berico ribs? Definitely, I highly recommend it. Really good flavor, so thank you again for watching. See you next episode.